Question number two, number two, number two. What are some good, unique web development projects to build? How complicated should a project be to land a job? Hmm. So I assume that this individual asking a question is a beginner. So um, a good web development project to build is a project for some small business or new business, some third party. You don't want to go into an interview with projects that you did from your boot camp or from a video on a YouTube or anywhere else. You want to actually build real things. You see, half of the job of being a professional developer, half of the job is being able to communicate and work with other people. In fact, you go look at surveys when recruiters are interviewing prospective developers for jobs, the second thing they look for is communication skills. So if you go out there and build little simple projects, it could be somebody's WordPress install, it could be updating their e-commerce, whatever, it doesn't really matter, even updating their Wix site for them or something. If you can show a prospective employer that you can actually work on real world projects for people and build something, then you will become far more valuable to them. So there's no particular type of project to build in terms of the technologies you might implement, except for the specific company, and I'll get to that in a second. It's more about just you being able but to show that you can work with other people. So when I said uh, it's not really important the type of project you build, it really depends on the business and the company you're applying for. So for example, if you are looking to get a job, excuse me, if you find a job posting for a Java developer and you don't know any Java, that's not a job to apply for, right? If uh, you want to apply to jobs that align with the skill set that you have, right? So the first thing you do, step one, when you're looking at job opportunities, is you want to research the company. So company A puts up uh, a job posting. So I'll do me. So Studio Web, we're looking for new developers. Uh, we're not, so don't send in your resume now. But anyway, if we were looking for new developers, so what you should do, we're going to put our list of our criteria, what we look for in terms of you know, technologies they should know, etc. You should also research the company yourself. Find out if you can find out what specifics they're using. See if they have a blog. See if they have uh, any articles written about them that might give you insight in terms of what the company is actually doing, what they're looking for. This is very important because if you can go into an interview with this knowledge, it's going to make you much more interesting to them because they're going to see, ah, this person actually does some research, is proactive, etc. Another thing is once you understand what they're looking for in terms of individuals and the type of development that they do, if you can find that information out, you can restructure your resume accordingly. Make sure it, it aligns with what they want. So for example, let's say you know some JavaScript and some Python, and you've done a little bit of React and a touch of Vue. And you look at the job listing, and you see it's actually a, a lot of JavaScript and Vue development. So what I would do is I would emphasize my JavaScript in the resume and put that at the top and push your Python and react below that. Why? Because it's going to create the impression that's what you'd know more, even if you don't. And then what you do, if you're not very good with Vue, if you've done a little bit bone up on your Vue development, like get ready, get good, do a bunch of stuff. Behind all that, you still need to have, well, it helps a lot, to have some sort of uh, demonstrable experience uh, in anything even vaguely related to what it is they're looking for. You have to understand, as a pro developer, you will pivot from language A to B to C, very common. So experienced hiring recruiters, and a lot of them aren't, sadly, but experienced ones will say, okay, uh, Steph is, uh, has done tons of Java work, no C sharp, done Java, PHP. This job, we're doing some TypeScript in here, but he, since he knows all these other C-based languages and a bunch of others, he's got a lot of experience. He'll learn TypeScript pretty darn quick. So that will open the doors. So yeah, um, 
So there's no particular type of web development project to build. It's much more about trying to get some real-world experience, even something very simple, as I suggested, local coffee shop, local butcher, local nonprofit. You have to get some real-world experience under your belt. And even if you have to do it for free at a stage or you uh, take on some not less than glamorous projects as a freelancer installing somebody's WordPress. Remember, the number two thing that people are looking for when recruiting, recruiting is whether or not you have real world skills, right? You can dem demonstrate that you can actually work with other people. Thus, the need for great communication skills. He also says, how complicated should the project be to land a job? It doesn't have to be very complicated at all. You know, if it's complex, better. But what's better, I would rather have four or five simple jobs that I've, I've completed that I can show, real jobs, rather than have one big complex job that I built for on my own. Now, on the other hand, if you can go into the market building your own, your own SaaS product, software as a service, and even get uh, four or five clients, that's huge. It's worth a lot. So if you can build a project, take it to market. Like I know some people have done that. They've, they've built their own piece of software, sold it into a few institutions, and the business model wasn't working out, So, but on the strength of that, they were able to get a very good job because they, should, they were able to demonstrate with this project that they're able to build a project, come up with the solutions, and take it to market. That's hugely valuable. Anyway, I hope this is useful. I'm Uncle Steph.